Hi there. My name is Ron Parker and I am the Managing Director of the Central Avenue Dance Ensemble. And my personal mission is to expose the history of black dance in America to as many people around the world as I can. Now, why is this, you may ask? How did this happen? Well, I'll tell you. Um, I was born in Los Angeles, California. And like uh, most uh, kids of my generation, I grew up uh, dancing cha-cha and, and swing. Uh, don't uh, tell anybody, but I actually think I started doing tap and lindy before the great Chester Whitmore. Mm-hmm, yep. Uh, I was uh, exposed to both of those dances in the 1972 uh, Los Angeles High School production of Oh What a Lovely War. And um, you know, I continued to dancing a bit uh, uh, after high school, but essentially I got serious about my education, went on to college, got my degree. Uh, upon graduating from college, I uh, uh, started a business. And that's basically what I was doing. I was, I was a businessman. So, I didn't actually get back into dancing until oh, about the late 1990s. Um, I started taking up a variety of social dances and uh, at, some, at some point I actually found myself uh, doing ballroom dancing, which let me tell you, I absolutely loved. I mean, come on. Every guy wants to be able to dance like Fred Astaire and to me that sort of was getting me you know, to that point. So um, uh, I ended up uh, joining the uh, Beverly Hills Cotillion Dance Ensemble and uh, performing a variety of, uh, of uh, Viennese waltzes and uh, vintage uh, ballroom dances, uh, actually for, for a few years. Um, during this period, I uh, met a guy, uh, uh, actually it was a, a dance associate, and um, he uh, uh, told me about this gentleman he knew who was a dancer and choreographer and tap dancer and just did everything and um, This person was trying to put together a uh, all-black uh, Lindy Hop group And I said well hey, you know, I remember that I used to dance that as a kid. You know, how hard could it be, right? Uh, and plus it seemed like an opportunity to really you know to learn some new technique and um, and at that point, you know, in my life, I was just really like a sponge. You know, I just you know, wanted to learn as much about dance as I could. So, um, so I met this gentleman, and um, that uh, was my introduction to the great Chester Whitmore and the wonderful, wonderful world of vernacular jazz dancing. Um, started you know working out with uh, uh, Whitmore and a bunch of uh, other people that he had uh, brought together and uh, eventually uh, we formed uh, a uh, the group which uh, we named the Central Avenue Dance Ensemble named of course after the historic uh, Los Angeles uh, Central Avenue uh, district um, so, you know, we went around dancing, uh, performing uh, at different venues, dancing different, you know, vernacular, you know, dances, Lindy, Charleston, Black Bottom, Shim Sham, uh, you name it. And um, we also uh, gave a monthly um, uh, live big band swing dance, which we called uh, Swing in the Hood. And all of this, of course, was, you know, uh, our efforts to to share, you know, uh, vernacular uh, dancing, you know, with the community, you know, which uh, kind of had forgotten that, you know, these dances actually evolved from, um, you know, African Americans and, and black communities, you know, um, over, uh, you know, at least a hundred to two hundred years. Um, so, uh, in this entire process. Uh, I began to really fall in love, uh, not only with uh, uh, vernacular jazz dancing, but with its really rich and interesting uh, and diverse, you know, history. And I felt that as much as we were doing, we really needed to do more to educate, you know, uh, people 
uh, about this history. And it dawned on me that really, in order to do that, we really needed to do a full show. Um, now, it actually <laughs> was quite a few years uh, between that great idea and, and its fruition, but, a, but in the summer of 2009, um, I actually figured I had the wherewithal to, to put it together, uh, Chester and I, and uh, we uh, pulled together you know, a group of dancers, including many of the uh, former Black Ballet uh, jazz dancers, uh, and we began rehearsing to do uh, a show uh, for Black History Month in, in 2010. So, you know, we rehearsed and we rehearsed and we rehearsed and as it turns out, we actually ended up rehearsing for like, you know, a year and a half. <laughs> uh, yeah, because we also, of course, needed to raise funds to, to, to do the show also. So, uh, in the end, um, we ended up debuting uh, the History of Black Dance in America at uh, Crozier Middle School in Inglewood, California. Uh, in February of 2011, uh, we opened to a capacity crowd. I mean, it, it was actually amazing. I was like running around with a chicken that didn't have a head on, uh, trying to pull things together uh, last minute. And uh, when I looked uh, outside uh, the theater, um, there was a line from, from the box office through the parking lot outside of the gate, wrapped around the corner. I mean, it, 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 it was amazing. And uh, in fact, it was so amazing that uh, every local news uh, station in Los Angeles sent a crew down uh, to record it. Now, you know, between, between you and me, you know, I probably thought it was like a riot going on down there. But, but what was happening was something that was truly unique and for me truly humbling. You know, an entire community was coming out to support a cultural event. Um, and I, I, I'll never forget that as long as I live. But um, at any rate, um, it was a, a fabulous show. Um, I mean, backstage, it was pandemonium. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. But um, in the audience, they loved it. I mean, they it, 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 they loved it so much they were dancing in the aisles. Um, it went longer, way longer than it should have. I think it was like over three hours, nearly four hours, and the car, the crowd was still there. So that should give you an idea, you know, of uh, how much the, the people loved it. And and, um, and 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 I learned something from it. You know, uh, I learned that there that there is in fact an audience for this uh, blend of uh, education and, and, and entertainment, you know. We weren't just up on stage, you know, shaking our behinds and jumping up and down and hooping and hollering. You know, we were actually uh, uh, telling the audience, you know, about the dances that they were seeing. You know, this is where this dance started. These are the people who were involved. This is what was, what, what was happening in the country at that time. And, um, and people just, they, they loved it. They, they, they ate it up and, and, and they appreciated it. I got, I can't tell you how many emails I got from people, you know, thanking me again and again and again. You know, not just for exposing them to, you know, uh, this, the style of, the style of dancing that they didn't even know was a part of their history, but uh, but actually teaching them, you know, telling them, you know, um, how you know th these dances came up, came about, and, and who was involved in it. So, at any rate, um, I, I know now that there are people, you know, willing to support this effort, uh, willing to support the history of black dance in America and its teaching of that history to um, our youth and, and to the general public. And all I'm hoping now is that you are, you know, part of those people, you know, that, uh, that you believe, as we do, that this is important, that it's not uh, right now supported by any of the major granting uh, 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 arts granting programs or uh, major uh, dance uh, 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 
companies. So, you know, we have to make an effort, you know, to make sure this gets out to the public and, and we need your help uh, to do that. So, um, you know, if you find this, uh, uh, this compelling, interesting, worthwhile, then please help us to move it forward. Uh, thank you very much.